So for today, we're going to be looking at Antaeus Wards that got asked for not too long ago. And we're going to be looking at how it looks, how it shaders, and my personal thoughts on it because this does not have an ornament, unfortunately. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys want to see your favorite exotic showcase, let me know in the comments below. Make sure I haven't made a video on it yet because I have made quite a bit of the exotic videos and I will not be making any new ones until we cover all of the ones that we haven't covered yet. And then after that, we'll do like a round two type thing where We'll try to do some new arm, new armor sets with new pieces, I guess. So again, if you guys like the video, I would really much appreciate it. Like, sub, all that, because it really does help. And because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed and a lot of people who come to my channel are, all, are not subscribed as well. So I appreciate you all. Other than that, let's hit, look at what this exotic does. So the exotic perk is called Reflective Vents. Improved slide, sliding after sprinting for a short time reflects incoming projectiles. So this is probably the most apiest exotic in the game, personally, just because uh, not only do you get improved sliding, but you also basically get a, a, a reverse card for sliding. And it's really, really wild. I used it a lot during the last Iron Banner, and it was just basically free free ones. It was, it, it's a free win, basically, and it's really wild. Uh, nothing really too much to add to this one. I mean, hopefully I have showed you enough uh, of the of the footage because, I, again, I played a lot of a lot of uh, Antaeus Ward's Last Iron Banner and it's just really good. Uh, it used to be a lot more busted back in the day because uh, you didn't have to wait for the reflective events to actually proc. You, it was just always proc. So, yeah, once upon a time, this was actually uh, busted, but Titans having a busted exotic is not new. Even though they'll tell you, oh, no, no, Titans get busted shit all the time. That's all I'm going to say. As for how it looks, unfortunately, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, it's just rocks. That's really it. The cool thing is the fact that the the glows actually change depending on what uh, subclass you have on. So right now I'm going to show you guys like all of the colors that it has and for all of the subclasses as well. I think it's pretty cool. Granted, I would have liked it if the glows just change depending on what shader you had because then fashion wise it would have just been easier but to be fair fashion wise this shit looks trash like you're really gonna have to go like around the fact that it's just rocks you just have rocks for boots uh as for how it shaders it's pretty cool like i said it's it's just rocks but it does shader really well um the only thing that you're gonna be fighting is the fact that let's say for one match you're doing void you're gonna have purple so right there you're gonna have to like work around void and then for the next one you're like you know what i kind of want to ape it with arc because arc is like one of the best ones right now then you're gonna have to like switch it up for arc as well so you could do some something class agnostic where it's like doesn't matter what subclass you have it's always gonna look good or you can just have a thing where it's like nothing has glows aside from the boots but i feel like that's gonna look really really weird but for me, I really, really like a lot of the shaders for this one specifically. Cryptic Insignia is really cool because just because you get an all white for the rock. But other shaders are really good, like Echo Anger as well. So I don't really have much to say about this because it literally is just rocks. There is like ho not hoses, but like weird metal on the right leg and on top of the thigh for the left one. But yeah, nothing much to say about this one. As for the example set, because I have two example sets. First one, we're going to be doing a arc one because uh, I'm going to be using arc for this one a lot. And for this one, Meridian Constellation Helm uh, because it's a crystal. For the arms, Dragonfly Regalia because uh, it, it has like wood tech or not wood, but like rock textures. It's more like hive texture, if I'm being quite honest. But you can really mix and match hive stuff with this because it's going to look good either way. For the chest piece, Thunder's Impact Plate was an easy choice because it also is arc. Now, this is where it gets annoying because the arc color for the chest piece is like a much more deep blue than the arc blue for the boots, which is much more teal. So if you're really nitpicky with colors, that's probably going to bug you. And the shader I chose probably doesn't help it at all either because I chose mine's eye. If I'm being quite honest, you should probably just put cryptic insignia because cryptic insignia gives you a very teal color specifically for the glow. But this also doesn't have glow aside from the chest piece and the chest piece doesn't change the color of the glow. So that one that you're kind of fucked there for the mark. We're going to be using chem flesh mark just because of the chain. I really like it. Uh, yeah, I, I think this is fine. I definitely would not be using this look uh, if like an iron banner because I usually just have a whole iron banner set because I want to get more uh, reputation. 
but this is definitely cool again like the only thing i would change is honestly just the shader i think uh, the shader was just a poor choice i mean in my head i was just like i'm trying to get go with something blue but i forgot that the arc color is more teal than blue which is kind of on my my bad honestly for the next one it's actually going to be a lot cooler personally for the subclass we're going to be using solar and this one looks super super cool for the shader let me talk about that real quick horizon blush is such a good shader for this because the boots have like almost like this molten rock look and the horizon blush also really good because the edges of the armor has like this like yellow not yellow but like this orange look which looks really really cool so i think this is the better set that i made but it is using solar which i don't think a lot of people are going to be using solar with Entei the Sword, it's most likely going to be Arc because Arc is like the superior ape subclass. But for this one, Forian Helm in combination with the Pylos Following Plate, I think is such a good combination because the Forian Helmet has like the spikes in the back and then the Pylos Following has the, the spikes on the collarbone, which I think looks super cool. For the arms, War Newman's Fist is such a cool chess piece for this. And I ended up just getting it because I've been using it a lot and I'm happy I did because I'm going to be using it a lot, like a lot, a lot. And then for the Mark Radiant Breaker Mark, because I want a little bit more fire in there. And this is the, the solar inspired armor set. So the Radiant Breaker Mark is going to definitely have like the fire coming out of the mark, which is really, really cool. So this is probably the better one, but I do think uh, a lot more people are going to be using the arc one just because the arc one is the one that people are going to be using. Cause it, again, it's the superior ape subclass, but I would most likely probably switched a few things from the second set to the first set because i do think that one looks way cooler but let me know what you guys think that's pretty much it again this one doesn't have an ornament unfortunately i mean i am hoping it gets one just because i'm getting sick and tired of like working around the rock but let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming up to this point next one is gonna be the the secant filaments and warlocks i'm pretty excited for that one because the ornament that you guys got for it is super super cool but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Again, if you guys want to see your own exotic, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely get started on it. But other than that, be safe and I'll see you guys later.